What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a little first impressions on this expensive ass foundation I found on Sephora. It is by a brand called Surat Beauty and this is their foundation wand. Ooh, what the hell, right? I'm like, okay, new foundation, you better work. And I'm also going to be trying out a new highlighting brush from the same brand that is over a hundred dollars. Does this drive my car for me? We'll have to find out later. I am really excited to get back into to makeup tutorials, the fall season's approaching, but I got so many requests last week when me and Manny tried out Liquid Lips, that soft little moment which I recreated today. Everyone was like, why do you look like 100 years younger? Um, what did you do different? So I'm gonna show you how I created this really soft little glam. Now there are no false lashes, there is no under eye makeup, and I'm wearing gloss for the first time in a minute. So if you wanna see how I created all of this, then keep on watching. All right, so let's dive into a little first impressions before I do the tutorial. Now, I was browsing on Sephora.com for highlighting brushes the other day. Now, you guys know I am so loyal to my Morphe 510 brush, but I wanted to see what else was out there. There are so many brands creating highlighters, I know there had to be some brushes out there. So, while browsing Sephora.com, I came across this brand called Surat Beauty, which I had seen at Barney's before, um, but now it's on Sephora. Now, this highlighting brush um, is from the brand, really cute, and I'm sure a lot of you are like, okay, it's matte black, it doesn't look that great. I wish you could feel the bristles through the camera. It almost feels like, my god. Now, I haven't tried the brush yet. I was saving it for um, a rainy day, so let's try it for today. Um, so I will use this for highlighting later, but to get back to my point, Surat Beauty just put out these new $65 foundation wands. Now, when I saw foundation wand, I was like, what the fuck? This is some hocus pocus bullshit. I'm all about new foundations, and when it said full coverage on the website, I was like, Hmm, you know I'm a full coverage queen. So, let's talk about this guy for a minute. This does retail for 65 bucks. Now when I see that price point, I'm like, girl, girl, girl. Now quickly, it comes in a unicarton like this. Now, it's kind of iridescent, maybe kind of hard to see, but it has like that oil slick kind of sparkle to it. Bam! No, this is not my dildo, this is makeup. Now it comes in this big stick. Um, it's heavy. It feels really nice. And it has a little thing on the end that you click down and then the foundation will of course come off. Now earlier I did not try this on my face yet. I did click it out because a lot of the times when you get these products you click it and nothing happens. You know you have to click like 20 times to get any out from the pump. So a little bit of um, foundation did come out. I have not tried it yet. have not felt it. has not touched the skin. But I'm really excited. Now I am shade three. I took a guess. So if this doesn't match, I'm giving you full permission to read me to filth. It's really hard to shop for foundations online, which I always mention, but it's like, you know, it just says your undertone. So I try to guess and just pray that it works. So a little bit of information about this. It says the surreal, real skin foundation wand leaves your skin looking flawless. An innovative design makes application easy and it instantly melts into the skin, reducing the appearance of pores and fine lines. Now that's interesting. So allegedly there are ingredients in this to make your pores less visible. It also said, with a number of shades to choose from, it's perfect for every skin tone. Self-setting, oil-free formula that provides an invisible medium to full coverage with a long wearing finish. It dispenses on the brush and you're supposed to be able to put it on with the brush. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today is I'm gonna apply this half the face with the actual brush and the other half with a damp beauty blender. You guys know this is my favorite and we'll see what happens. All right, now I'm going to prime my skin like I normally do so I don't really think that's cheating. Whenever I do first impressions, I always do the primer and I set it just like I would um, any product. So I'm gonna be using the Guerlain Gold Primer. And we're just gonna use a little drugstore brush from Gucci. <laughs> no, but I love this brush. It just feels really nice. So I am just going to put this all over my face and let it soak in for a minute. Oh, this primer, you guys. I can't tell you enough how good it is. It like makes your face kind of like, like just kind of tighten a little bit. And the foundation though, girl. All right. Face is primed. Let's get to the foundation. So all you do for this foundation is you Woo! 
Ooh, she's coming out the top. Now, like I said before, I will try to blend this side of the face, um, my right, with the actual wand, and then we'll try a beauty blender for the rest of it. So just to start, I'm going to, ooh, I can already tell it's full coverage. I'm just gonna kind of dot this around. Okay, is that too much? Who fucking knows? So I'm just gonna take this brush and, okay, I'm already, I'm like, I don't know about blending with this. When you, when you go like this, see that? So if you guys see, it's like streaky. Um, I'm not down with streaky foundation. So I am just going to cut some corners and just apply the foundation everywhere and then go in with the beauty blender. Ooh, there she goes. And let's just buff this out and see what happens. Thoughts right away are, that ain't bad you guys. Oh my God, it doesn't really look heavy. Like it covered up a lot of my discoloration and it looks very just like real. It looks very skin-like. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, I'm like waiting for something horrible to happen and it just looks really nice. Now, now that it's drying down, I think I actually picked the perfect color. I was afraid it was gonna be a little too dark, but since summer kind of, you know, ruined my face, um, it definitely matches now. On here it said that it was a self-setting foundation. I'm like, how in the fuck does that even happen? So am I supposed to set my face? Definitely need to do concealer and some powder. Now regardless, I could never just start, you know, doing other parts of my face without really setting it in my mind with more powder because that's just the effect that I like. We're gonna start off with concealing with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in shade Fair. I just can't get over this concealer. I just feel like I'm always going back to it because it is so just, ugh, just blends amazing. We're gonna use more foundation because I'm a sick, twisted ass bitch. We're gonna go in with my favorite MAC Shivering White Powder. I've been using this since high school and she's never failed me now. Now, for a really youthful, bright look when I'm not doing any false lashes, this is my best friend. It is very, very brightening. So I just like to take a little NARS Kabuki brush and it makes the foundation and the powder just blend like heaven. And I'm just gonna take this and really brighten up these under eyes. And if your brush doesn't blend it as uh, good as you want, just use your beauty blender. Now, to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be going in with my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation Compact. This is one of my best friends, and I'm gonna be using an Artiste brush. I'm sure a lot of you are like, what the fuck are you about to do? I like to hit the pan, and then hit my face. Now, I'm being a little aggressive, a little hard, and of course, we're gonna hit that neck. And this just leaves you really airbrushed, really flawless, really cunt, and um, now we're ready to contour. Now, this is the Tom Ford Contouring Cheek Color Duo, and I love to use this shade right here. Now, there are a few of these that came out. This is in shade number two. Now, this shade is called Stroked, <laughs> go figure. And I just love this contour color because it's just not your typical, like in the brown family. This is just like a almost corally, bronzy color. So I'm gonna be using a little Smith 112 brush, and I'm just gonna start right here, and I'm just gonna do little circular motions, and I'm not gonna bring it down all the way down like I normally do. I'm just gonna keep it really focused right here, and we're just gonna stop it right here. See that, guys? We're not going any further. Even though I want to, and my wrist is like, bitch, bitch, bitch. I'm not doing it. And I'm just gonna soften the edges. Voila, that's it for today. Now, blush is gonna be my main focus for the cheeks today. Contour is cute, but I want a little soft peach moment, which is perfect because this is the Gucci blush in shade Soft Peach. And I'm gonna be going in with a little MAC 129 brush, and these are really pigmented, so I barely um, touch the pan. It's like, good morning. So, uh, hi cheeks, how are you? And I'm just going to put these on the apples of my cheeks. I love it, it's very soft and, hmm. All right, now for the first time in a long time, I'm gonna leave my forehead uncontoured. I'm feeling my hairline. We're really not gonna contour the jaw at all. The cheeks are feeling very peachy and fierce. I'm gonna be trying Benefit's new brow products. Now this pencil is called Precisely My Brow Pencil. Packaging 
A, honey, N-A. Now, I got to go to Vegas a few months ago and try out all these products. And also, this product, which is called Cabrow, is like a brow gel. It is, it's amazing, it's unreal. If you've never seen this, it comes unscrewed like this. And then look at this. This unscrews. Oh, hello, little brush. You see that brush, you guys? Mm-hmm. And then it just kind of snaps in here like that. And uh, you're ready to get flaky. So I'm going to go do these brows off camera, and I'll be right back. <sighs> All right, the brows are done. Now let's get started on these eyes. Now to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the YSL Couture Eye Primer. This is always just nice to have in my kit, girl. Love how this feels. Now I'm just gonna put this all over the lid. Ooh, that was a lot, bitch. We're trying to prime my soul, honey. We're trying to prime my existence today. So today's eye look is gonna be really simple. I know that's shocking to everybody. I'm gonna tone it down today, and I'm gonna love it. So what I did to create that look when me and Manny tested out all the liquid lips, I only used three little products. So first up, we're gonna be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Cream Shadow in shade Rose Gold. Now, when I did my first impressions, I used the other shade. What the fuck was that motherfucker called? That one was called Copper, and I loved Copper. It looked really cute. So I'm gonna be dipping in with a little MAC Synthetic brush. You can use anything that has a synthetic bristle. And I'm just gonna be going in on this girl. A little goes a long way, which I love. And just, oh, The color, though! The color! Oh, It's just really, really pretty on the lid. Alright, so now we're gonna be getting into some eyeshadows, which is gonna be really simple and fast for this one. Now I'm gonna be using the Makeup Geek Manny MUA eyeshadow palette. This one is oof, it's just so pretty. It is very versatile, and I've definitely been using these two a lot when I'm not filming. Now, I do know that this palette is limited edition, so if you want to get this before it's gone forever, I would get on it soon, because I know this is almost gone forever. Okay, so we're going to be dipping in to Sora and Beaches and Cream. Now, this is Sora, one of my all-time favorites. Manny, you killed it with this one. And then a little bit of Beaches and Cream. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and mix. Now, I'm just going to take this and put this in my crease and I'm also gonna merge it with the rose gold so the cool thing about these Kylie cream shadows is that they blend with powder really nicely so I want my eye sockets to look very airbrushed come through mannequin now I'm gonna dip into beaches and cream one more time and we're just going to just go in there and really just soften the edges and make sure we look really airbrushed Now we're going to go in with a little MAC 221 detail brush, and I'm going to be dipping into Mars. I love this shade, you guys. It is everything. And mixing this with that rose gold is going to look so amazing. Or as Manny would say, stunning, ho. Stunning. Okay, maybe I added the ho part. But anyway, Mars is about to be right here in my crease, and we're about to change this look, girl. Now notice how I'm not going to bring this all the way in like I normally do. Let me tilt my head back so you can see. I'm going to stop it right there and just kind of give it its own crease moment, which I think is cool because I always put my shadows kind of in the same spots and I think it's nice to get out of your comfort zone, try something different. And now you guys know I love to drag it all the way down to the lash line. Today we're not gonna do that. I am just gonna keep it right in there and just drag up slightly. And then to buff out, we're gonna go back in with Sora and Beaches and Cream. And to make sure it's blended, we're just gonna go over the red and just soften it a little bit. All right, now this eye look is almost complete. Now I wanna keep this really soft and pretty. So I'm gonna be going in with Artemis right here. And this has kind of like a shimmer sheen to it, which I'm loving for. So we're just gonna highlight the brow bone with it and I'm just gonna take it and put it right below the brow and just softly go in there. Ooh, okay. You better work, Artemis. All right, now shockingly, we are almost done with the eyes. To finish this off, we are gonna do a little nude liner in the waterline, and I'm gonna be taking the ColourPop Gel Liner in shade Honey Dude. This is my go-to forever. I'm gonna take this and just lightly run it in my waterline, and this is just gonna brighten the eyes and give it a moment. 
All right, now to finish off the eyes, we definitely need some mascara. Now I ran out of my Benefit Roller Lash, so I got another roller lash. <laughs> This is my all-time favorite lately. I'm just like, ugh, cannot get enough. And that feeling of a brand new component. Of course, grab your favorite mascara if you don't have this one, and just very thickly do your tops and bottoms, and let's get to it. All right, mascara is done. Now, what's left on this face? We gotta highlight and we gotta do some lips. For highlighting today, we are gonna go back in with that Surratt Beauty and try this $115 highlighting brush. God damn! And of course, I think it's very fitting to try my girl Kathleen Light's new highlighting palette with Makeup Geek. First of all, this packaging. Look at girl. She look at real cute. There are three shades. Now, this middle one is called Starlight. Uh huh. So you know, I gotta use that today. I got my name in. Name it, name it, name it. But the brush, the brush, let's see what happens. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh my god. <gasps> Hi, Glow. How's your day? Yes. Oh my god. Come on, nose. Now, obviously, these formulas are, I'm just gonna use my finger. So pigmented. Let me swatch the other one. Oh, this gold though. I can't wait to use this in a tutorial next. All right, trim spot, baby. Now this is definitely a good brush to have in your kit if you are someone that is a working makeup artist that maybe does celebrities or weddings or that type of stuff. It is very nice to have some luxury items in your kit to show your clients, you know, bitch, you need some luxury. All right, now that it looks like I've been sucking on a metal popsicle, it's definitely time for some lipstick. Now for lips, I'm definitely gonna be prepping them because I've been doing so much traveling, my mouth is like, God help me. Now of course we already put highlighter on there, but my bottom lip is a little crusty. So I'm gonna be going in with my Strawberry Gum Velour Lip Scrub. Now my lip scrubs are all back in stock. Oh my God, look at that pot, bitch. I've been using her up. And there's also two new flavors coming for the fall, so get ready. Everyone has been begging for a pumpkin spice latte to come back, so uh, that's coming back. That's one of them. And then the other flavor, you have to wait to find out. So of course, I'm just gonna dip in with my acrylic nails and um, go to town. And of course, if you're a sick whore like me, mm. come on, dead skin, give me some fucking calories. All right, now for lips today, we're gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in shade Undressed. This is one of my go-tos, I just love this. Now, I've really kind of been staying away from gloss this whole entire year until recently. I think I'm back on some little gloss kick, I'm ready. Now these, oh, come on pigment, and they just smell so good. Oh, come on. This lip gloss is everything, probably one of the best formulas I've ever tried. Shout out to Norvina, bitch. I love all right, so this look just needs a little setting spray. Obviously, I haven't set my face in a minute on my channel. I feel like this is like definitely time for a little extra. So we're gonna use my little Travel Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna mix it with a little Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, my all time favorites ever. Let's get the engines revved and ready. Both of them require a little shakedown. All right, face, are you ready? Holy Spirit, are you ready? Father God, are we ready? Let's get to fucking spraying. Oh my God, yes! I'm back. Let's keep going. Uh, yes, okay. This look is complete. All right, guys, this is the final look. I'm feeling really soft, really gentle. Now, let's get back to the first impressions real quick and do a little final recap on the Surratt Foundation Wand. Now, it's been a minute. Now, I obviously finished the look. I paused, I put on some hair, I had a few snacks, and I'm really loving this foundation. Now, of course, I haven't tested it for hours and hours like I normally do, but like I always say, right off the bat, I'm living for it. It is very human-like, shall I say. Um, it just looks very natural, very real. I'm looking in the viewfinder and I'm feeling cunty. Um, I really love it, you guys. It's really 
great. I think for the price point, there are definitely other stuff out there that are kind of similar. Um, I just feel like you don't need it, but hey, it's expensive foundation. Do I need it? No, but I really, really, really want it. So is it worth it? I think it definitely is. It's very full coverage, but also very natural, which I love because having a cakey face is not cute. So um, I'm obsessed. Now, of course, final thoughts on the brush. I love it. I'm going to use it a lot more now that I have it. Um, definitely way too expensive though. I'm not sure what the hair is. I'm gonna go Google that and let's just pray it's not anything crazy. Now that we are transitioning into fall, I have a lot of fun, sultry, dark fall licks coming. So if you guys have any ideas or anything that you want to see on me, leave some comments down below. I definitely am feeling black lipstick, gray lipstick, blue lipstick. I'm feeling, I mean, come on, we gotta bring out the unicorn blood at least 16 times this uh, fall season. But um, thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will see you on the next one. Mwah. Love you guys. Why did my lip just do that? Like quivered. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm at the fucking DMV. I'm like holding my breath. And yes, my cheeks are real. These are just from my mother's vagina. <laughs> Sounds like a jackhammer in my brain. Hi. Come through, Christmas tree. We're gonna go in with my. Oh my god, I want some. I'm so funny, huh?